Okay, so I'm gonna try on the new wheels, eh? So I've got new tread on these with a thinner tire and a different size because the 31s didn't fit. That came on here. These are, Two, three, five, seven, five, rings, 15. There to go on there. And I'm gonna use this bolt on the spacer plate. So this bolts on to your nuts on there, and then you bolt the tie to these nuts. So that way with the spacer plate, you're not shortening the nuts so it's not losing any of the strength at all. And you're not gonna lose your wheel. <laughs> really tiny three mil spacers to go on the back clear the back brakes because they're just off clearing so with these on I'll be fine and go three mil not gonna make much of a difference with my thread screw my nuts on and the bloody rain started raining so doing it getting wet great timing eh I am absolutely saturated Bloody rain, now I have to wait. It's not raining, I've come back out. So I've done this side, those two wheels there. I lifted the van heats more again as well. Now I just gotta do this front one. I just did the back one there. Still plenty of clearance, that's my hand. Like from the tire to the thing. For it bumping up the suspension. So this is what a wheel spacer looks like. So you go straight onto these nuts, like that. And I just put these nuts on here so we don't lose them. And then they screw onto the nuts on the car. Like so, all the way around. And then you do them up real tight, like you're doing up any wheel. And then my other wheels then stick to these so you have full length and thread so you're not shortening anything so they can bolt on nice and tight. The front ones pop out the guards just slightly but you can get away without flares. The back one is tucking in because it doesn't have a huge spacer on at the front and it clears the door. So I know a bunch of you were asking if it's going to clear the door. Look at that. Just clears. 